All right, what is up, my friends? Welcome. The tour of Pioneer continues with, um, although that's actually a little bit off kilter. This wasn't on my initial uh, screenshot of the 15 decks in the format. Uh, you see Mono Blue Spirits is on here. Uh, but Azorius Spirit has overtaken it on the MTG Goldfish uh, rankings. And uh, it does gain Sea Chrome Coast. Unfortunately, at the time of playing this, Sea Chrome Coast is not legal yet on Arena, on Arena, on Magic Online. So, uh, but it's been, it's been doing well without Sea Chrome Coast. Uh, so, obviously, it was doing well without Sea Chrome Coast. Just changing four islands for four coasts to make things even better, which is pretty great. So, we have blue white spirits here. Usually, it's mono blue spirits. This version is playing white for a few different cards. Uh, Spellcaller, of course, is a great card. Saw it playing standard and otherwise. And then we also uh, have Selfless Spirit. Extra two drop here and a little bit of Wrath Insurance. And then also, perhaps more importantly, is four portable hole on the board. Uh, one of the big things these Spirit decks struggle with is they're very, very polarized. Uh, they're really, really good against slow sorcery speed decks, uh, you know, en Enigmatic Incarnations, Control decks, uh, Mono Green Devotion, Lotus Field. Uh, but they're pretty bad against decks that play creatures on turn one through three. Uh, you know, mono, mono white aggro, mono red aggro, uh, because they just don't have any removal spells if they're mono blue. So by playing white, we get our removal spells pretty eff efficient, obviously, and uh, can kind of go from there. So uh, with the spell callers in, there are less count less actual hard counter spells, uh, no lofty denials, only two spell pierces. So that's a little concerning for me, honestly. Um, also, only eight one drops with no ascendant spirit. Uh, so the obsessions are a little bit worse, but we'll see how it goes and how it plays and uh and yeah there you go so that's the deck let's get right to the games brought to you by cool stuff inc is proud to sponsor jim davis we offer great deals on card games tabletop rpgs board games and more get a free token featuring jim davis and take five percent off your next order if you use the code jim5 at checkout coolstuffinc.com cool stuff in stock All right, um, opening hand is fine. You can keep this. A little unexciting, honestly. I'm not the biggest Shackle Guys fan. Card's, like, obviously fine. We 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 played, like, one in our, our Worlds deck, which was the Mono Blue deck at Explorer. Uh, it's just okay. Definitely diminishing returns, for sure, because, obviously, the second copy doesn't really do anything. So, don't love four copies of Shackle Geist. Two Wanderers, Geist Light Snare. Hand is, you know, it's okay. Uh, not super exciting, but fine. Passable, doable. Pro Tour's coming up. Phyrexia all be one. I'm not sure what the nomenclature of the Pro Tour is, actually. Uh, paper Pro Tour. Uh, is it Pro Tour all be one? Pro Tour Philadelphia? You know, back in the day, it used to be the name of the... Hmm. Beetle Push, sure. It used to be the name of the uh, the city the Pro Tour was in. Then for a while, it was the name of the set being released with the Pro Tour. Uh, but... All right, so we'll just shackle guys here, I guess. I, mean, I guess that, that kind of sucks against Stomp. Uh, but it's pretty hard to play around that anyway. So Rakdos is a tough matchup. Uh, just like a bunch of removal spells, you know, a bunch of cheap interaction. I would say our spell callers are much worse against them uh, than like the cards in the more mono blue list. Two black lands though. And Infernal Rasp. All right, so kill your stuff. Lantern Bear in that one drop slot. It's possible. That card is fine, honestly. It's definitely not bad. All right, so we draw we draw three lands in a row here, which is or two lands in a row, which is definitely not ideal. Um, we can uh, play Wanderer and say go, and leave a Geist Light Snare, or we can attack a Mute Vault and play Wanderer. They've already gra taken two for Grasp. I think we're gonna do that. Let's send it. Pro Tour all will be Philadelphia. Yep. All right, so play a Wanderer, say go. It's the worst that can happen this turn, you know? No respect for Liliana. Liliana's not particularly great, and I mean, we just kill it with Meat Evolved anyway, so. What's up, Hanson? How's it going, folks? Good morning. Gifted Aetherborn. Uh, sure. This is like the mono black mid range deck. Spell Pierce. All right, well, draw definitely not that exciting, and uh, this life linker is actually pretty annoying as far as uh, things go. But we'll try and figure it out. I 
again, these sort of mid-range decks are definitely a little tough for this deck because we're uh, they just have a lot of cheap ways to interact with our creatures. They're going to Thought Seize us. I, mean, I guess we'll just Ice Light Snare. Kind of crabby. No, I leave on Thursday, actually. I, I, I got the, date, the uh, dates mixed up. Leave 30, Thursday for the Pro Tour Testing House. Another Aetherborn. I don't know if we can win, uh, actually, if we can just beat two Aetherborns. <laughs> um, this is pretty embarrassing, but... Uh, yeah. All right. We're going to untap and draw a Rattle Chains. Sure. They have three cards in hand. Yeah. Um... And again, this is kind of the issue with this deck where, like, they once they play a creature, it never leaves the battlefield usually. So, even though Gifted Aetherborn isn't the best creature of all time, uh, deal four, gain four every turn is pretty good, honestly. And they've had the cheap removal spells to keep me on my stuff, and I haven't really done much yet, to be totally honest. 14 to 20. Uh, I doubt my opponent's deck is mono black devotion. There's just like a, a mono black mid range deck floating around. It's very similar to Rakdos. Uh, just same idea, just not playing red, uh, you know, and playing more black cards. Mana base is a little better. Get better lands. Lose Fable, which is a pretty big loss, but Fable is the only card that, like it's in the Rakdos deck that's like really, really uh, super exciting. Maybe that Bone Rush Giant. So. <sighs> Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. So they have three cards in hand. Field of Ruin up. We have Rattle Chains. We can cast it. <sighs> Getting our clock on is not the most exciting thing, honestly. Try and use the Rattle Chains. Yeah, I'm going to try and use that. They might actually, maybe they'll Field of Ruin my Beautiful Vault. Jeez, you cannot stop drawing lands. Just cannot stop drawing lands. All right. Let's uh, fire at Mina Vault. Try and induce this Field of Ruin. We go to Field here. We Rattle Chains it. It's a, it's a little bit of a Stone Rain for us. We do like good Stone Rain. We love a good Stone Rain here. Again, though, just racing the uh, the two creatures here is pretty tough. Combat! Magic Online is so quiet, you know? It's so quiet. It's like playing Magic in a library. Phantom will be good, yep. They obviously don't need to field here, and they probably shouldn't. Give it no bad anything. I mean, I also I pause on their end step too. This is a kind of deck where like you gotta be super crisp in your play because you're like there's a lot of possible, uh, a lot of possible, um, you know, like instant stuff like that and like tricks and things like that. So when you, I pause on their end step for a while and, and then decide to not do anything, like it kind of just like telegraph rattle chains. So, can I search chat? Chat's on the screen right now. It's right there. Any one draft prep? Nope. I'm going to do my uh, my first drafts tomorrow. Bronze Mythic, episode one. Should be fun. Set is not released yet officially on Arena or uh, Magic Online. No blocks. Just going to take it. All right, sure. Let's see what they do here. End step. Tap three. Swift end on the Wanderer, too. So I could even sacrifice a defensive thing, but we're going to spell pierce this because... Spell Pierce is quickly going dead. Orzov deck is from Tender Brews most sweet. Tender Brews are going up. Uh, Set reviews up on YouTube as well. Lots of content for all will be one. I think it's better to use Spell Pierce there and try and use this Rattle Chance later. Three. 
Three cards in hand for our opponent still. We have the Emperor of a Cyborg? Uh, no. Two black. <laughs> you know you're in trouble when you can't be actual gifted Aetherborn. All right, I guess. Spectral Sailor. All right. Uh, sure, I suppose. We're looking forward to exploring in Pioneer Arena. Yes. Playing Magic Online is actually torture. It's like going to work. Uh, it's just torture. I've been playing Magic Online for 20 years, too. I've played Magic, Magic Online literally since the beginning. But, all right. So this is a pretty embarrassing game, honestly. Uh, we're just dying to get the Aether Warns, and we just literally can't win. Uh, down to four. They're at 26. We just can't really... We need to be able to beat these in combat, which we can't do yet. We draw a Lord, maybe. But... All right, so draw a card. Shacklegeist. I mean, if they didn't have three Aether, Aether Warns, uh, here's a Spell Queller. Let's have Death Touch, obviously, too. Uh, let's see. You can tap two of them. <laughs> they have Hive also. Oh, man. what a What a first game here. We're just dead. Yeah. I mean, like, this feels worse than Rakdos to me because Aetherborn is much better than uh, than Blood Tithe Harvesters against us. Their mana is a little smoother also. Um, Hive of the Eye Tyrant. Still have three cards in hand. You know what card I like? Freaking Clarion Spirit. There aren't enough one drops though. Alright, we're just gonna get We're just dead. Alright. Uh tough game. Tough game. Now the problem is like, do I bring in portable hole? Normally I wouldn't bring bring in portable hole against like a Rakdos deck. Uh, but we kind of just got shit clowned by uh by uh that stupid card. Sharp Aether Gust, Mystical Dispute, Herald. Um usually you want to shave a few obsessions in this matchup. Um, I'm not sure we can afford to do that, though. really hate Shock Guys. Things are just actually heinously bad. Um, may do like this. Bring the Shore Ups. Um, we're a little soft to the card Liliana if they're playing it. Uh, Snare, Queller, Selfless Spirit. Let's try this. Don't want to go too crazy on Portable Hole because, like, it is pretty dead against the rest of our deck. But, all right. Decent hand here. Let's keep this. Wow, let's take go. This card's weird against them because, like, it. I think we'll board some out of the draw because you can't afford to get two for one. Usually we can get our card back, but... They're out of thoughts. He's not sure. So, Fire and Sailor. Obviously, he gets the card back immediately when you cast it, but if they kill it, it kind of sucks. Ideally, we draw a, uh, a Shore Up or a... Geist Light Snare here. So we have, we have eight draws that are they, they give us the nuts. So. Crimson Resup. Thanks so much. What's up, Rev? Just testing meta decks. Yep. Just, just testing the decks. The format. Uh, the new set, the new cards aren't on, uh, aren't on Magic Online yet. So. Hmm. I cast Phantom here and try and draw a land so I can go Obsession with, with, with Chains up. I actually think I like that. If I have Obsession and they just kill it, we're like way behind on tempo with nothing in play. So let's just um, just get our beats on and then try and draw a land for Chains plus Obsession next turn. These mid-range matchups come down often to just, like, how many one-mana spells can they draw. 
Every fatal push or thoughtsies they draw lowers your, 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 your percent by like a lot. As you can see here, they have all of them, so uh, we're pretty dead. Uh, if they the mid range matchups, the mid range matchups are already kind of hard. Uh, if they draw a bunch of ones, it's very very difficult. If they don't, you can definitely get under them. Uh, but all right, so you go. All right, so no land, say go. I'm just going to cast Rattle Chains. We just can't not cast a spell here, I think. So play the old chains. Probably kill something in response or kill it when it resolves. All right, so there's your Infernal Grasp down to 11. They have taken six damage this, this game, which is kind of cool, I guess. They know I have Caller in, in my hand. Two out of four, a sign in blood. I'm recountering actual anything here. Uh, so, fire up the old spell queller. Hall Fountain, sure. I mean, this is all fine, I suppose. How many more decks to try? I'm not going to get to all 15 decks, unfortunately. It's just like too much before I leave. Uh, we've already played like nine, I think. We're playing two more today. They're also doing Mog Monday Goblins today. We'll explore Goblins. Legions end on the Sailor. They know I have Rowl Chains in my end. Uh, so, it's cool, I guess. Alright, we won. They drew a lot of Thought Seasons, but then Journey Lands. We'll take that. So, game three. Uh, I kind of want to shave down on Obsession. I don't know if I can, though, honestly. Hmm... For sure up. It's fine. I'll just keep it like this. Krusty, reset. Thanks so much. Euro bros. Thanks, Krusty. Appreciate it. Double Atticar waste. Oh, yeah. I... Hurt myself today. Thoughtsies. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Like, something about this blue-white version of Spirits feels more like a standard deck than a, than a, like, a good explore, a good, you know, historic, or whatever, pioneer deck. Um, like, the, the mono blue deck just feel, like, feels so lean. This deck just feels so, like, self spirit spell quality. You know? I don't know. I convinced Spellcaller is even that good in this deck. Despite it being like a pretty good card. Take the one drop. And we draw a <laughs> obsession, sure. Alright, so we need some help. Sign in blood. Draw two, lose two. It's also very good shouldered out. You target your opponent, they take six. It's kinda cool. All right, um, let's play Selfless Spirit and say, yeah. They're at 16. Oh, black deck's weird. It's like... Very, very similar to Rakdos. And then whenever you play a deck that's similar to a deck that's already established from the best decks in the format, you need to ask yourself, like, what gives this deck a competitive advantage over the deck that it's more successful and similar to, you know? And I'm just, like, not super convinced this deck has a an advantage over Rakdos. Swift and my self spirit. Like, Murder Shrider's, like, pretty blah, you know? <laughs> like, all right, yeah. They don't lose two, but they, they, they lose the uh, creature. On tap and draw a a geist light snare. Jeez. All right, we get to untap here, uh, maybe, but need to actually untap with a creature. Mm 
don't play shielded. Okay, they played shielded. Well, uh, now we kind of just can't win. So, uh, yeah. I mean, how different is this, is this deck from the Explorer deck I play at Worlds? The Explorer deck was like mono blue and much leaner. It felt more like a scrappy one, you know, one mana spell deck. This feels more like just a, a much more fair version of the deck. Like, cards are clunkier. Yeah, we're just super dead here. Um, yeah. I mean, with white, you could play like, you know, Fateful Labs or something like that too. You should have thought sees me, sure. Yeah, we have like zero chance to win here. We can't we can't remove remove a resolve children. These kind of mid range matchups matchups are very very bad for us. Just is what it is. Like bunch of removal spells, a couple threats that are very hard to deal with. Thoughtsies, you know, like this deck needs to kind of get under you and then get then do its thing. But we we you know it's hard to even stick creature, and then because we had to keep playing creatures, they were able to resolve children and everything falls apart. So. Yeah, I mean, obviously we missed our third land drop too, and these these colors just seem so awful. They're just so clunky. All right, so I take my sailor. Fourteen to nine. Yeah, we just like can't ever win. I don't think. Fatal push my supreme phantom. Yeah, that, that'll do it. All right, so yeah, pretty tough match. Uh, yeah, no good. All right, so that one again. Just kidding. Mulligan. Five Mondays later. Five Mondays is going to be the third deck of the day. Mulligan into... Pretty good inch. You get one drop, Spell Pierce Obsession. Keep this. Ship Queller. Thanks, Hoist. Appreciate it. Extraction Specialist. Same thing. It just like... This three mana clunky, you know, kind of sorcery speed card. I don't know. Shivan Reef, Spring Leaf Drum. I sh I I just, I should not want to guess this. Never mind. I was just so shocked. I didn't even think about they might, they might spell piercing it. Uh, we're gonna do this obviously. So, Sailor, Obsession, Obsession. It's like a and Soul Artifact deck. And draw route change, sure. So, play spell Pierce the Madness, there you go. Obviously, you Spire Bluff because it played it first, probably. Here's Ornithopter. Tormod's Crypt. Mox Amber. Man, they're really unloading here. What's the big finish? You think minor mess up strictly worse than Pierce? Yeah. Mess up counters things that cost one, right? Like, it doesn't counter anything else. Reverse engineer. Oh, no. Oh, God. Imagine playing all these terrible cards to play a reverse engineer, and your opponent just taps on mana and spell pierces it. Ouch. Ouchie wowie. All right, we draw a spell queller. All right, we're going to hold back on Phantom and just try and draw a card, draw, draw a counter spell, I think. All right, so draw up this. Draw a pathway. Cool. Now I got the old Queller up. Mishra's Research Desk. They only have one card in hand. I'm going to snap this off. Cool looking brewski from our opponent, though. Untap and draw a island. We can just jam the Phantom here, I think. So throw me between Shore Up and Slip Out, slip out the back. I think Shore Up is, is most better in most spots. Slip's only better against Wraths. And, you know, with Slip, you... You cast it and they or they, they you phase you phase your creature out in combat, don't deal damage, don't draw a card, etc. So Alright, yeah, so nice snowball game here. Uh 
opponent played <laughs> opponent played one big spell and we countered it, and that was basically it. So wouldn't mind a little more info about what they're doing, honestly, but I imagine they're playing in Soul Artifact. So I think these portal holes are coming in. Uh, bring the holes. Don't think Selfless Spirit's gonna be great here, honestly. Shore up is a little weird. I'm not sure how many things how much how many targeted kill spells they have. Um well, let's got two spirits and two shackle guys, I think. And then don't oh, mystical dispute. I don't think so. Like obviously you counter some of their stuff. Probably have like, might have, like Emery and stuff like that too, but I think this is fun. I think one wolf like Pioneer enough to change was it was played at the Pro Tour. Ah, a little bit. I think the biggest change is the fast lands. Giving fast lands to the allied colors uh, is, a, is, a, is a very big deal. Um, as far as there being other playable cards, I'm not sure yet, honestly. All right, so we are on the we are on the drop, and we have one land obsession, one drop. I right, gotta keep. I think we gotta keep. Steam vents tapped. No thopter. The fast lands are not legal on Magic Online yet, unfortunately. Obviously, we'd be playing Force Seeker on Ghost, but. Yeah, Gruel, one of the biggest winners, I think. Uh, the Gruel mana base gets a lot better. Obviously, Rakdos gets Black League Close, which is great. This deck gets Seeker on Ghost. The old Thopti, and then an Emery. Alright, so Emery had to flip over. One Springleaf Drum is the only artifact flips, which is fine, I guess. And Step Sailor. See anything about this? This hand just like so creaturey. I want. That one's cool. Um, can't pour a hole a Emery anyway, so don't need to leave the white up. I don't think. Deal two. Draw a card. Ooh, they're gonna get the chump lock here with the uh, the Emery. That's cute. So they want to just keep playing Arthopter every turn and jump blocking every turn. It's kind of cool. Like the mono blue that can explore felt more like a mono blue tempo deck. This deck feels more like a actual man. I should, I should, I should, I should, I should bring, bring in a mystical dispute. Uh, like an actual spirits deck, and like spirits tribal feels worse than mono blue. So, Psy and then Looping Ornithopters. Uh, unfortunately, it feels like once again, you probably can't win. <laughs> That's the problem with this deck, is that once they actually get something going, it's hard to remove it or uh, do our thing. Untap and draw a Spell Pierce. Yeah. Um, they just keep Looping Ornithopter. That's pretty bad for us. We... We can, like, shackle guys to go. I, I can't say go, because I'll, I'll lose the obsession. That sucks. Alright, I guess we're gonna... Just play Supreme Phantom, I guess. I mean, we're gonna attack. I mean, them just blocking with Thopter and playing it every turn is pretty good with the Psy in play. Not sure if we can beat that. Um... Play Phantom. I mean, Shackle Geist, like, can tap. They're going to have two Thopters next turn also. Yeah, I think we're screwed, actually. Emery Sigh. Iconoclast. Oh, they're doing it. They are doing it. All right, so big punt on my part. We're not bringing in the uh, mystical dispute. I just didn't really see enough of their deck to know how many uh, how many good blue cards they had. So, uh, we're just gonna pack it up. Go to next game here. We just can't beat this again. Once again, the problem with mono blue is that like once they build a board, you just kind of can't win. Uh, so let's bring in our mystical disputes. Do we still want all these portable holes? I think so. I'm just come more shocking, guys. And maybe three holes is fine. 
I guess Shorb's not very good. But, sure. And it's good. Keep. A little landy, but we have Obsession plus Sailor plus, plus, plus a Counterspell, so... Say go. Spire Bluff Canal. Ornithopter. Go. I mean, hopefully no no uh no rule spell here if they have a uh, galvanic blast, something like that. Untap and draw a spell queller. Alright, obsession. Ugh. <laughs> oh. All right. Uh, yeah, uh, we're pretty boned. All right. I mean, sure. This guy's kind of cool, honestly. Sort of like artifacty, like synergy, but like kind of mid range deck also. Is Galvanic Blast legal? That's, 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 that's not like a legal pioneer. No, it's not. All right, draw another land. Unfortunately, uh, play lands. They go. Triple Spire Bluff Canal, Third Path Iconoclast. All right. Fire up the old spell queller. Three cards in hand. Trap blast volt surge. Draw geist light snare. Okay. I mean snare place, honestly. So Magic Man, Rules of Pioneer vs. Modern, just different formats. Modern's a much larger format. That goes back much farther. Four cards in hand for our opponent. Unset. Alright. I mean... Another Spell Queller? Sure. I have Queller and Snare up. Three cards in hand. They just aren't doing actual anything, so our draw is not very good, but they're just literally not doing anything, so. Mishra's Research Desk. Three cards in hand. Yeah, sure. I obviously kind of want to just like cast spell as soon as possible, it's just a threat also. They have, like, a kill spell here. It's kind of annoying, but this hits both sides of a desk, so. Two cards left. And once we untap here, I think it's probably game, so. Not the most exciting uh, showing from our opponent's deck. They look cool in game two, but. Fire in the block. No voltage surge either. Okay. So yeah, they fought it super hard. All right. I mean, just got to keep it rolling. Thanks, Dom. Obsession. I was just going to block this creature anyway, but whatever. Paradoxical outcomes. I mean, they had like, you know, Psy, Emery in game two. Not a bad engine, honestly. Iconoclast, Emery, Psy. But. Rolling, 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 rolling. Yeah! Mox Amber. Second Mox Amber. Play second Mox Amber. No? What is this? Oh, this is a draw two. Reverse engineer. Sorry. I like this card too, but uh it's not gonna be it. Alright, so kind of a kind of a gimme there, honestly. We'll take it. Oh, but 
It's all about that die roll of this deck. One drop obsession plus shore up. In the, oh, this, this is actually the stone cold nuts. So not, the nuts of this deck is turn one spirit, turn two obsession, attack, and have one, one mana counter spell up. That is the nuts. So barring a turn one removal spell or a thought seize, we're good to go here. All world up. Atlanta or Elves, sure. Obsession. Double Obsession. Yeah, I think so. Pulls out a Stomp range, too, in case you're playing Gruul. Alright, here we go. Mono range, this seems pretty good for us. I should have this draw. Always yes. Spell Pierce, Snare. Yeah. So the nuts here is Kiora, Untap, Lana, Rolf. And I think we're still in good shape. And that's Kiora. No, Combat Research is just like a much worse card. Uh, and this deck isn't a particularly good Obsession deck anyway. Because it's just a, clunk, just a clunkier deck. So And also it only has 8 1 drops. Um, so let's jam. Let's attack them. Draw some cards. I said always yes. Draw, draw. And then we have double snare, spell pierce, sailor, shacklegeist. I don't mind just playing the geist here, I think. Because snare covers most things, so it's unlikely that, uh, they can resolve two good things here. Yeah, we're pretty, we're pretty far ahead here. This deck is pretty polarizing. It is definitely like really good in some spots and pretty bad in some spots. They're going to play a Haven. We can actually spell snare or spell pierce this. And they can't do anything. And then, then they'll have two mana left over. I'm gonna spell pierce this. It's just too tempting. This stops them. This 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 counters like two extra mana. This is the cure on tap. And now if they have, like, Nykthos, they can't use it. Like, even if they go, like, untap, play, like, a troll here, it just doesn't matter at all. Yeah, sure, it's fun. Because now we are totally in, uh, in control. Supreme Phantom? Damn! Alright, so... Yeah, let's play Phantom. Tag with these two. Could kill Kiora here, but whatever. We'll switch our cards. We have double, uh, double Geist Light Snare up, so. I guess in theory, if they were to nick those and maybe make a bunch of mana, like, you could, you could try and, like, overpower the snares, but it's pretty tough. Old Growth Troll. Uh, that's fun. That does not, does not stop them from being dead in the air. Sure. So yeah, pretty easy, uh, pretty easy game there. Good draw on our part. We put Aether Gust. Do you want portable holes? Portable hole like basically only deals with Lantern Elf, but on the draw, hitting an elf seems kind of important. Um I mean our self spirits are kind of worthless against them. Shock Geist again, it's just not very good. I mean the shore ups also aren't great, because there's there's not really target stuff. Uh sub Simph. Do something like this. Spell Pierce is still good. Obsession. Queller. I'm do like this. They don't have any removal spells, so. I'm just like hitting a ladder off, which is so good. I'm gonna bring all four, actually. The thing is, like, Shock Guy just doesn't matter. It's just like a random two hour, like, random two, two hour creature, you know? I guess, like, maybe one, one, two, just it taps down the four, the five, six. Yeah, I should have left two shotgun guys in, actually. I think that we could be put, we could cut a few too many. So if I do, if I do resolve the five, six, it could be a little tough, but this is fine. We keep this. Hands passable. Turn one elf. Gonna fall in a hole. Fall in a hole.
Haven again. Spell Queller. Okay. Just gonna fan him, I guess. They have like a turn, like a, you know, they have a, a play here. I can't counter it. Like car or something like that, you'd be in trouble, I guess, but. Alright, so they play Karn. And they're gonna minus it. They get like a boat here. They were just dead. Just like on the draw. Darksteel Citadel? Sure. Now if they go get boat, play Citadel, cast boat. Aether Gust. Sure. We're gonna... Yeah, that's uh, that's not good. Attack Karn. Play draw is also freaking huge of this deck. So, uh, I suppose we could gust the Haven if we're like super scared of a boat. Um, that's pretty aggressive, honestly. Yeah, I don't think I like that. Play Lance, they go. Karn dies, so the boat isn't as scary. It's also kind of bold just to get boat here and just cast it. Just gonna, just gonna do it. All right. Yeah, I guess. I mean, like we could have rattle chains, counter spell. We just have anything here, you know. We just, we just don't, unfortunately. But all right, that kind of sucks. Um. I should have gusted this. Uh, yeah. And now we can, like, gust the creature they play, but they're at 20, and they're just, like, eventually going to resolve something. Play Wanderer. Play some blue. Say go. Yeah, maybe you should have gusted this. I don't know. There's definitely a deck where mistakes get punished super hard, unfortunately. They play any card we can quell this turn. I think we might be alright, though. Cavalier of Thorns. Alright, well. Now we need a more permanent answer to Cavalier of Thorns if we're dead, too, so... All right, so untap. We draw a counter spell of some kind. I think we're just dead. Yeah. Uh, we can't beat Cavalier plus Sky Sovereign. Yeah, pretty awkward game. Um, Spell Queller, you know. Tap six. They missed tapped. All right. Um, yeah, that sucks. Karn, Festival, Cura, Forest, Forest. They had a, a festival, too. They're going to crew the boat, too. They go on hunting. I think Spirits is a good deck in Pioneer. Not really, no. Um, draw a card, I guess. I think it's specifically good against some decks and pretty awful against others and somewhat die roll dependent. Alright, untap. These spell callers just seem like ass, too. All right, so that kind of sucks. We're on the play for game three. I'm going to bring guys back in and cut a hole. Try this. Yeah, it's it's funny because, like, I do feel like Spellcaller is a good card. It just doesn't seem like a good card in this deck, which is very, very weird. You would assume it seems perfect for the deck. But 
It's just very clunky. It doesn't hit everything. Uh, this hand is... Not great, but I think we need to probably keep... Yeah, it is a very punishing deck. You do need to play basically perfectly uh, at all at all points uh, because your cards are just so underpowered. And once one thing slips through, the whole house of cards falls apart. I'm going to keep and be pretty unhappy about it, but... All right, no secret on coast yet. It's not on the uh, not on the internet. Cards are released tomorrow, I believe. All right, there's your Lanor Elf. No portable. Oh shit, I missed. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Uh, no, that's fine. Actually, never mind. Uh, okay, so in for in for a chip. Just play Ganjo, I guess. We could play the Untap Hall of Fame. It seems unnecessary, so. Second Elvish Mystic. Sure. And Heart's Desire. I guess we counter this. Counters the Beast itself, too, so. They don't, have a, they don't have a second land here. We're probably in okay shape. They don't. All right, cool. Draw island. Sure. Can I cast this now and get in? Get it for a deuce. Could, like, draw step Gust and Elf if we're feeling, like, super frisky, but it seems unnecessary, so... It's not like our board is that good. Tap three. Cura. Snare it. DC. Resub. Thanks so much. Pile drivers. Portable hole. Sick draw. <laughs> Bingo. All right. Now do I want to gust the elf? For like a super time walk. I think this is worth it now. I'm just going to gust the elf. Keep that one lander, huh? Because we also have the, the draw on, on adversary. They put that elf on the bottom of their library. They don't play a land and they can see. Sure. Uh, I mean, yeah. Obviously, that was not a very exciting game three. But uh, we'll take it. Uh, Sand's pretty bad, honestly. We're, we're in a mulligan of a sand. Just like a bunch of creatures, no interaction, no white source. What's up, Adam? It's a mulligan. Uh, there's just so many freaking creatures in this deck, you know? The spells are what makes the, what make the blue deck good. Not, not the creatures. Creatures are terrible. You know, it makes the deck good as you're playing Cures, Possession, Spell Pierce, Christ Light, Snare, Counter Spells, etc. The creatures themselves are just like... Like, I would not consider Spirits even even be like a tribal deck, honestly. We're gonna keep, I guess, but Shipper Redundant Geist. Like tribal decks attempt to overpower their opponents with, with synergy. Uh this deck doesn't really do that, creature wise. Like just curving creature on one, two, three is not gonna be good enough. You know, the, the spells are the important part of this deck. Basic planes go. Uh blue eye control. Alright, sure. Strap in, folks. Not going anywhere for a while. Alright, so we're gonna shackle guys to your actually I guess what what two mana counters do they even play? I should just play the with the phantom. Go get him, buddy. You can spell queller a Supreme Verdict, which is cute, obviously. Do I think venerated rot priest? You know, in, in, yes, in standard absolutely. I mean go look go watch 10 new breeze on my YouTube. Uh, because Rock Priest did a ton of stuff there. 
in Pioneer, probably not. So, testing house in Philly, you know what neighborhood I'm in? Not offhand, no, honestly. Um, I, I have the information of where we're staying somewhere, but I haven't seen it in a while. All right, so draw Spell Pierce, also guess. All right, just attack. And, I mean, we could, in theory, play Shockgeist here and leave up Spell Pierce, but they have Verdict's terrible, so we just gotta say go. And step nothing. That is definitely a Verdict here. Well, this is a spot where Spellcaller is good. No, no Verdict. All right. I can't do anything else, so untap. Sure. Fortunately, our clock is not as fast as I would like it to be. The old blue-white nothings. No spells. I'm going to cast the Queller here. We got to up our clock. We have a second. Now we, now we have a second queller anyway, so we can spell pierce if we need to defend against something here, and then uh, we still have queller for this for the for the verdict. So, all right. So now our clock is six power. What's up, Matt? Ugh. Cycle Shark Typhoon for three. That is kind of a beating, honestly. Perhaps I should have played the Shock Guys first. Yeah, I, should, I could have played around this. This, this is stupid. Uh, just like play Geist first and don't attack with the Phantom. I still attack for six. Yeah, that's a very bad play on my part. All right, sure. They block the Phantom here. They take five, but now our offense is getting totally stifled. Yeah, that's just like, as we were saying before, like this deck is very punishing. You make a single mistake and everything falls apart really, really fast. And that that's your mistake for the day right there. Just definitely just cast Geist pre-combat and leave Phantom untapped. Because now our offense is just off. You know, like, they have six cards in hand. Draw Geist Light Snare, sure. Let's cast a Shackle Geist, see if that resolves. Shark Typhoon's pretty good against us, I'm not gonna lie. What's up, War Eagle? Spellqueller is a really cool card, a pretty good card. It's pretty clunky in this deck, though. Maybe he's doing good, though. Shock guys resolves. The problem is that they have a second Shark Typhoon here. We like, actually probably can't win, uh, which is really disgusting. We could obviously just have to have a Shark and attack, but second Shark Typhoon can't win. If they have second shark type boom, can we win anyway? If we like try and slow slow things down. I mean, kinda. We could like tap both. I'm just gonna say go. We just end step tap. We just end step tap a shark. So. Cycle farmland. Other than a best in show, best in show, where I view my picture from sets. Yeah, I did that once, La Russia. It's on my YouTube somewhere. Where I went over like all the uh ooh, spell pierce. Spell pierce. I went over all the uh my mistakes from uh, past set reviews, my biggest blunders or whatever. 
This is insane for us, so the game's just over, I think. I guess not quite. They're going to be at two, but... Snare plays there? Wow, all right. All right, so tap the shark. Untap. Draw a shackle, guys. We're going to hold on to that. Down to three. I guess I could have played shackle, guys, actually. It's one point of damage, and then we could tap with the queller. I don't know. Let's just say go. We're obviously, obviously get surrounded by verdicts, too. And, like, if we, like, quell with the verdict, they kill the queller or whatever. We could just wait, I think. All right, friend, what's up? Three life points. What you got? Castle Vantress? Yeah, whatever. <sighs> Just got on tap. I think I played this game very poorly, honestly. Draw Selfless Spirit. That's pretty good, honestly. Uh, let's cast Selfful Spirit. See how they react to this. They're going to absorb the Selfful Spirit. Joker reset, thanks so much. That's awesome, Joker. Joker came in third place at the SCG Con. Never done that well. Appreciate the content. I haven't played in years. I think watching Gonna be sharp, maybe better. That's awesome, Joker. Congrats. That's really super great. Alright, so they have four guards and add five mana up. Um The problem is if we quell her this, like I think we're I guess we can quell her. We can't quell her and spell pierce. The three lives also annoying because like we could just try and shock the guys here, tap the shark and kill them. Through, I guess a second shark is just bad either way. The three life here is annoying. Um, I don't really want to tap out for spell queller here, honestly. I think it's just fine. So, what's up, pal? Thanks for resub. Could shock guys tap down attack for four. Or six now, jeez, yeah, that's that's tough too. I don't know. All right, I'm not gonna play around a uh, a second shark here. All right, so they go to four. We say go. I think it's a Vantress. Ugh. End step Wandering Emperor. I mean, I guess we're going to Spell Pierce. And if they have the verdict, they have the verdict. We still have two creatures in our hand if they have verdict, so. So, War Eagle. War Eagle says, love watching our set reviews. Always give solid insight. Watch through my LGS Sealed Event. Gotta say the Magnetic Sprinter and Trinity Reservoir are nuts and gruel. Sprinter's the, co the, the common five drop, right? They're hard to seem good. That's it, folks. Set reviews up on YouTube. Here's your verdict. All right, so now they verdict. They, they're attack first, though, right? Yeah, attack first, then verdict. Yes, no, maybe. Yeah, sure. No, yes, no. To fairy. All right, sure. The set reviews up on YouTube. Tenny Bruce is going up on YouTube. As always, folks, if you're watching on YouTube, hit that follow button, like, comment, subscribe, all the usual stuff. Check out my stuff on YouTube as well. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, yada, yada, yada. They're going to tuck my Shacklegeist. Sure. That's fine, I guess. They have two cards left. I mean, now I just killed a fairy. Let's untap Shacklegeist number two. Draw Wanderer also. Thanks, VP. Jeez. All right, we got the Fendir, so... Uh, they're actually just dead now. 
points. That's cool. Uh, they're at four, right? So we, uh, oops, hit this. Assuming they have no sick. All right, cool. So yeah, we just, we counter bat, tap the shark attack for four and kill them. Uh, okay. So, I mean, that was pretty cool. I think it was a little sloppy on my part, honestly, as far as the game was played, but let's bring in our mystical disputes and shave like a shacklegeist. Shore up is still fine here, although it's not I not ideal, honestly. Shacklegeist is good against Shark Typhoon, and it's basically it. Um Rail Chain, Selfless Spirit. Spell Queller is good against Verdict, but kind of awkward. Shore up Wanderer. I would shore up. Uh, it's good against Wandering Emperor. I guess Portable Hole. And it's good against Portable Hole. Oh, if they have a temporary lockdown, that would be a beating. The card's really good against us. So let's cut two Shacklegeist and... And what? What's our last cut here? I just want to cut something clunky, honestly. Rattle Chain, Self... I'm not gonna shore up. Shore up's kind of like sketched. I have four battle chains anyway, so let's try this. Hole against shark tokens. That's way too reactive. Uh, way too reactive. The shark token gets you anyway because it would get to block. And then, like if I had a like a brazen borrower against, I would, that, that's gonna get shark tokens. It's good, just like a fine card in general. But the shark's gonna get you either way, and you're trying you're trying to mop up a, a bad situation. It's not good. I don't think. All right, so no one drop, double phantom, double counterspell. Yeah, we'll keep. Meat Vault's pretty good, too. Obsession. All right, well, I mean, now if we get to untap, I see a brow chance, too, so... Uh, freaking Revenge of the goddamn, huh? Revenge of the, uh, what's that card called? The, the black creature we played against. Gifted Aetherborn. Yeah, that's pretty annoying, honestly. Uh, the old 2-3 lifelinker. Portable hole looking a little better now, but I still don't think I would want to bring it in. Uh, okay. Untap and draw Mausoleum Wanderer. Right on time, buddy. Right on time. We... Uh, what are we doing here? I guess end step rattle chains. Yeah. Waste go. Chrome says, we're going to grow my pioneer decks considering either mono red or mono, or oh, I'm sorry, mono red or red white prowess. I don't really think the uh, heroic deck is particularly good. In for two gain two. It's quite sweet. The card's just like actively very good. And then Sega. Alright, so we will attempt a rattle chains. See if we can't rattle their chains a little bit. They're gonna dispute it, sure. Alright, so untap. And we'll cast the Phantom. Let's spell Pierce up. End step soul partition exile permanent so I can cast it for four uh yeah I think having a creature in play is just too important here so let's spell pierce this and not be happy about it if we get to untap obsession into guys lights and air it's pretty good so staggering insight uh I mean it's just really clunky uh I mean the life is like you're not gaining that much life as creature, the creatures aren't that big anyway. It's just kind of a clunky card. Here's Denik. Didn't play a land, so we're not scared of Wandering Emperors. We can block. I see in a real client. Playing Magic Online is the worst. It's so freaking tedious. It's the worst.
Farmland, tap land, three cards in hand. Okay. We get to untap here. I'm feeling reasonably good about things. Would mind drawing a blue source also. All right. So, draw, draw a dispute as well. All right. We're in. Obsession. We're going for it. Venerate Rappi is a problem in standard? No. No. It's a good card, but... All right. Here comes Soul Partition again. All right, I'll counter it, I guess. They have another dispute here. We're screwed, but this is not it's not an ideal ideal circumstance for us at all. It's double Soul Partition. It's interesting. All right, so. Well, I guess they're better than Fable Absence. I guess it hits anything, but... All right, so draw off the Obsession, draw land. We did not draw land. So we are at the mercy of our opponent's uh, hand here. At Wandering Emperor, Teferi, so many things here that get screw our thing up. Odawara? Yeah, I mean, the Stagger Game set does a lot for two mana, but is it a lot of things you actually want to do? That's the question. The thing is that everything's contextual, you know? Like... Whether a card is good or bad or not is contextual to the rest of your deck. So, like, while a card might be good, it doesn't fit in the deck. It doesn't, doesn't make sense of a deck. It's, is, it, is it augmenting your overall strategy or not? One card left. We draw land. Um, it's going to go Phantom Wanderer here, I think. It's in the opposite order, but... We're way out on cards here, and they can't resolve a Teferi. So... I think we're good. You know, Denik's cute and all, but same idea where, like, how good is Denik in their plan? Like, are they going to lose games to us because they didn't gain enough life? Are they going to lose games because we just, like, you know, run, 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 away, run, run away with the counter spells and stuff like that, too? So, like, all right, we're going to... We can... I'm not going to block here because they have an Emperor. It's, it's pretty devastating, so just take the two. Like, our life totals are relevant for the most part. 24 to 12. Supreme Verdict. They're going to kill their own Denik. What are they doing? All right, sure. So that's fine. They only have one card left, so we're going to rebuild pretty easily. So this is like, okay. Obviously, they can flash Denik back, but... Pathway. Uh, yeah. Just going to jam, I guess. Like, if their last card, second verdict, whatever, so be it, you know? We got Dispute, we got Mutavault. Pretty good clock now, we have seven power in play. Reckoner Bank Buster. Sure. Back half of Denix, a 3-2 flyer. Whenever a creature is put into a graveyard, investigate. All right, so they have one card in hand. We are going to draw a another Mystical Dispute. So we're just jamming here. Buy our Muta Vault. Attack for seven. They draw a card. We have... Uh, we have Hardcast Dispute also available. So now they have three cards in hand. Okay, now I'm interested in sailoring. Um, they, if they have Shark Typhoon here, we could like sailor, activate Muta Vault, tap it, which sucks honestly. But it's like a backdoor out, and then I want to go instead of sailor draw a card, so we're not going to Muta Vault here. So 
Sucks. Alright. So, they make a shark. This feels pretty bad, but... This was our uh, you know, backdoor plan here. So in for four, they now have a shark in play, which is very annoying. We have double dispute, but they can they can resolve uh, white spells here. So our card I'm most excited about it all we won. Um uh oh. -uh. A lot of cool stuff. Oh, yeah, it's a ton of fun during 10 new brews. But some cool decks. Play the uh, the Denik. That's blue. Four cards in hand now, though. It's pretty rough. I think the blue, the, the Delve Dragon is pretty bad. Why not serve with Muta and leave Phantom back? I mean, I don't want to trade really either, but it's reasonable. Draw a Wanderer. Okay. Wanderer is pretty good. The problem is now we're like kind of walking into a verdict, but we can Wanderer just tap attack. I should like that. So leave up leave up the hard cast on Mystical Dispute, I think, and the draw off Sailor. So let's uh, tap this. Get him for solid five. Crew Bank Buster. That can block the Muta Vault, so. Shot Guy's been pretty fine here. Yeah, for sure. Having the incident, the incidental way to deal with Sharks is much more important than bringing in a card like Portable Hole. Oh, it's funny. They do have Bank Buster and Denik, so Portable Hole looks a little more interesting. Land six, four cards at hand. Cast the Wandering Emperor. I mean, I they're at eight. This tags the Geist or the Phantom. Yeah, we got to join Cannabis. Ninja Resub, thanks so much. We're definitely running out of cards, but hopefully we can close the game out before they... Uh, Get it going. They did gain, you know, they gained what, like eight life off of the uh the Denik or something like that. So the Denik definitely life the life buffer from that's definitely helping out. That gets countered. Three cards, two mana, eight life. Tell me more upon it. I'm all out. I'm all in. Here I am. On tap. What's up, Caseman? Thanks for following. If you haven't followed the stream, that follow button for YouTube. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Big draw here. Big draw. Upkeep Soul Partition Shacklegeist. Okay. So if I tap the shark, they crew the buster. So maybe I fire up Muta Vault and use the Shockgeist and the Muta Vault to... Actually, I can just cast this freaking thing for four. Um, hmm. Let's do that. Tap Shark. It's pretty hard to play around Verdict here, but if I get them low enough where the Muta Vault will kill them post-Verdict, so... I could also wander or two. I guess I could, I could wander. I don't need to counter it though. I don't think so. Pump that. Exile that. Draw for turn. To land. Um. We can get in for five here. So I could play the Geist pumps this. I could play land. Act the Vault. Tap the Bankbuster and get in for five for for six. Actually, that's, 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 that's perfect. Actually, so that puts them exactly dead to a. Uh, 
Meet of all to their wrath. Love it. All right, so shock in the land. Cast the Shacklegeist. This pumps Wanderer. Crew Meet of all. Oh, I miscounted. Oh, yeah, there we go. And then tap this with these two. In for six. And now you are at two. I have five creatures in play. And if you Wrath, you're dead to the Muta Vault. Barring, like, a, another either Wrath and have something else. All right. Cross finish line here. Not the cleanest match, honestly. But our game our game, our game two was cleaner than our claim one. Our game one. Our game one was a little sloppy, for sure. It's a lot of soul partitions. It's a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. We're going long today? Uh, we're playing three decks today. We're playing this deck. We're playing Sacrifice. We're going to be playing Blog Monday. However long that takes. What's it going to be, blue-white control player? You got the goods? Nope, you're drawing a card. That's it. That's game. That's game. Game. Blouses. All right. On the play, winning die rolls. He had one most of our die rolls. is pretty good. Unfortunately, no one drop here. Uh, with a one drop, his hand's insane. Like, if this caller is just a random 1-1, one, one, we have to go 1-1, one, one, Obsession, Spell Pierce, Rattle Chains, but unfortunately, it's not. But we can't mulligan this hand, so. LDA kind of sucks. What's LDA? I'll wait on arms. Uh, it's good if you can gas it, but... All right, it's turn one, Elvish Mystic. That's not good. Muta Vault. I think I want the extra blue sources, honestly, so... Yeah, like... This game is just night and day if we have, like... We, like, we, like half a spell pierce this. We can't even, like, play our creature. Oh, my God. Yeah, the, if this guy had a, had a third good one drop, I'd be all about it. But only having eight one drops is so tough. Like, we have Queller here, which is pretty good. We have, like, Queller untap possession it, hopefully. But, oh, my God. Do I hit this or no? I don't think I do. If we didn't have Rattle Chains, I think we, 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 we would call that. Just get a creature in play, but... They whiffed on Oath of Nyssa? Impossible. That's like, wow. It has to be like, you know, Storm the Festival, Storm the Festival, Storm the Festival, right? Is Creature Lander Planeswalker? Oh my god. That's like, mildly inconceivable. Inconceivable! All right, uh, end step Rattle Chains. And untap, and Geist Light's in there, too. Wow. Wow. Muta Vault. And I think we're golden here. Oh, I'll give you more Oaths, too. So it could have been, like, could have been Oath. Could have been Oath, Oath, Wolf, Low Haven, Storm of the Festival. It's especially not, like, that insane, but it is, you know, still pretty astronomical. Another Spell Queller, sure. I think we're good here, folks. Goliath Online. It's pretty damn hard to miss, honestly. Yeah, Queller is really good here, obviously. They should, they should have no removal spells and no flying blockers, so... Yeah. Alright, so... Oath missing there, so we're going to bring in our Aether Gusts, and we're on the draw. Some amount of portable holes, not sure about how many we actually want. Spirits can go, the Shorbs can go... Um, and then maybe like a Shacklegeist or two. I don't want to cut that many Shacklegeists because we do want it to be able to tap their uh, their five sixes maybe. Let's do three holes, I guess. This is fine. All right, this time we got the one drop. Oh, let's go. No counters, but do I miss Coco? Uh, in like. It, it's it didn't go anywhere it's still it's still a card you know the card's great i mean it's definitely uh doesn't see a ton of play in pioneer but 
Punt ball against six. Elfos. All right. Need a ball. All right, let's play our Wanderer. Just don't cure me. Take us reset. Thanks so much. You have to pay money for Magic Online. Magic Online operates exactly like Paper Magic, where you buy and sell cards. All cards are tradable. So they have a Stone Cold Nuts here, unfortunately. It might just be dead. Oh, do we actually we, we drew our Stone Cold Nuts? It might not be enough though, honestly. Like this draw on the play from Mono Green is just so hard to beat. Turn one Elf, turn two Elf, untap el or turn Hero, untap Elf. They have like seven mana on turn three in the play or whatever. It's just like ridiculous. All right, so fire in the obsession. Attack them. We need to draw enough counter spells to keep them off every turn, basically, which is going to be very difficult to do. Put them at 18 life. Draw. Shock. Go. Clever man, reset. Thanks so much. Ascendant Spirit uh, is very bad with, with, with no snow lens. Or not enough. You can play modern on Magic Online? You can. You can play any format you want in Magic Online. Magic Online is all the formats, none, none of the flair. Here's a Haven. Sure. All right. I mean, the problem is that our Geist Lights in there is almost going dead here. Okay. That was actually a pretty good draw. I think we're in a portable hole, the Willful of Haven. It's just like plus two mana with Hura. I guess it's the same as Elf, right? Hold on, this is a... No, it's not, because it's plus three, yeah, plus three mana, okay, yeah, sure. So let's, um, we might have Snare and that up. I think Muta Vault's fine here, too, so we can just go Portable Hole. I should have drawn a card first, that was stupid, I should have just attacked, whatever. It's fine. Uh, attack, you. That is true, you can't play a Stork, Stork is great. Uh, all right, so land, go. Oh, someone said the A word in chat. All right, so they're gonna play. They're gonna play uh, Cavalier. We're gonna counter, which is pretty great. Get off my plane! Get the hell out of here! And now we need to draw another counter spell, or we're in big trouble. Untap, counter spell, shock geist. That's not the worst, I guess, as far as like trying to stop another Cavalier, but. Um, I would say Muta Vault does not get in here because we're going to be uh, drawing cards and then having casting flyers. So let's attack them. You don't want to buy a deck twice. Listen, it, you're owning the deck twice, but you can just sell it, and you'll be able to play many more games with your with your online cards and your paper cards. So do what you will, I suppose. You know. Play land, say go. So no counter spell. We have a pretty good clock here, I think. So cure untap. Yeah, there are also rental services on Magic Online where you pay like twenty dollars a month. You can rent any deck you want. It's very useful. So they have Cavalier here, but I have I have the Geist. So Geist been pretty good actually. Killing Kiora there, I think, is just not. It's just drawing the card so important. If we draw any counter spell, we just win, so. Hating magic online when Arena is strictly worse is so cringe. Arena's awesome. The economy in Arena's terrible. But they both have their problems, you know? What are you going to do? They milled over a bolus. They hit a layer of a Hydra. And I, they're probably just dead. I'm, I'm having to deal with Chad, so I have no idea. Uh, we got chains and, uh, flesh in tappy thing. They're probably dead. Mina vault too, right? Three, six, seven, eight, no, three, eight, nine. Yeah, probably just dead. Shock Geist is two. This is one. So I think we have the Geist in play. I think Bant Spirits is the worst of the three of the three spirits decks. It's just like it's just trying to be a creature deck when Bant when the spirits deck shouldn't be a creature deck. It should be a fish deck or like a, a tempo deck. You know? Oh, I misclicked. God damn it. <sighs> Alright. Um 
making life much more difficult for myself. Uh, I obviously wanted to tap the clavier and stab. I hit the wrong button. Um, shit. We... So, Phantom, Tap, Immutavault is 3, 6, no, oh, so they're still dead, never mind, we're good. Alright, so, give me Phantom, and we tap with these two, it's 4, 5, 6, 7, yeah, fire Immutavault, and tap down to the Cavalier, and we're good to get, pretty good, pretty good matchup in Mono Green, honestly. All right, so there you go, four and one. And it's funny, is it weird that I'm four and one, but didn't really like, didn't really like like the deck that much? Um, I don't know. Like the Spokewellers, like the I think the big question here is is white worth it? You know, how good was Spellqueller? How good was Selfless Spirit? And then how good is Portable Hole? Um, Portable Hole is I think the biggest run of white's Portable Hole. Honestly, we didn't play against Mono Red, didn't play against Mono White. Didn't play against all the decks where Portable Hole would be good. Uh, Spellcaller was, I would say, fine. Uh, it was kind of clunky. Um, I don't know. Like, I really think the deck wants another one drop. And, like, the deck, again, I think this deck is a lot better as a mono blue tempo deck than a tribal deck, which is why I think that the Bant version of Spirits is not particularly exciting because it's a tribal deck. It's playing, you know, 30 creatures, four companies. It's not playing the counter spells, not playing the obsessions. And,. The spirits themselves aren't good enough to just win the game. You can't just like, you know, play a human, play a human, play a human, lieutenant kill you. The spirits aren't like that. You know, the spirit theme is mostly just because you need to have creatures in your blue deck to be a tempo deck. Like, like I, during testing for worlds, there were times where I was like, we just cut Supreme Phantom and just be a blue deck. Like have to play the spirit theme, you know, and you kind of do because like Wanderer and Phantom just are like the cards you need to play, I guess. Uh, but... So, that being said, I think you should build your spirit deck like a tempo deck, not a tribal deck, which makes Ban kind of kind of eh. Uh, but there's enough spells in this deck where it's like probably fine, and Quellard is both. I don't know, honestly. Deck just seems fine to me. It seems like a very, very, uh, very, very polarized deck. It's really good against some decks, really bad against some decks. Very hard to play. It's fine. It's not bad. You know, put 4 and 1. There you go. So, uh, we're going to keep on stream. YouTube, folks, I'll be like, comment, subscribe, and look for the next deck in the next video.